Have you ever met someone who was so happy? You might describe them as filled to the brim with love and joy and wondered, what's their secret? The author of the book I'm going to share with you today asked that very question and discovered that the happiest people didn't wait to say thank you, God, until after they received what they wanted. They said thank you, God, for everything all throughout their day. They saw all the things around them as gifts in their lives, the good and the hard things, the joy and the sadness. They gave thanks to God for everything. When this author taught this to her church members, they began to practice it. They started seeing the world with eyes of thankfulness and their whole perspective changed. They were thankful for things that they had before been missing. They found the blessings even within the hard moments and they finally realized what God had already given them. Listen and see as a girl named Daisy discovers this for herself in the book, Thank You God for Everything by August Gold. Thank you God for this beautiful day. Dad said that every morning. It got Daisy thinking, what should I thank God for? I don't know, mom replied, look around and think about what God has given you. But it's such a big world, where should I start? Start right where you are, Mom said. You'll think of lots of things. So Daisy's journey began. First, Daisy thought about all the things she loved. Thank you, God, she said, for each day that I wake up and all the things I get to do. Thank you, God, for all the people I meet in my life. Thank you, God, for all the big animals, tiny little insects, and all sorts of living things. Thank you, God, for giving us all the breath of life, no matter how different we are. Thank you, God, for the peace I feel in my heart from Mother Earth. Thank you, God, for your great spirit that I see everywhere in the rocks and flowers and colorful sky. Thank you, God, for letting me see the world with new eyes. The more I look for things to be thankful for, the more I find. Thank you, God, for being my beloved friend, even when I'm feeling sad or lonely or afraid. Thank you, God, for being everywhere, all day and all night. Thank you, God, for everything I see brings me closer to you. With her new eyes, Daisy realized that there would always be something to be thankful for. And with this, her journey brought her back to her mom and dad. So they asked her, what did you find to thank God for? Where should I even begin, Daisy smiled. Thank you, God, for everything. Choosing gratitude is just that, a choice. We can choose to see the world with thankfulness and gratitude and it can make all the difference in how we experience the world. God has given us so very much that we can be thankful for. Don't let another day go by without shifting your thoughts to those of thanks and gratitude. What can you find to be thankful for today?